have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Well, YouTube, that was our camping extravaganza. And uh, we're getting ready to pack up and take off. It's Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. <laughs> uh, I want to get back and watch football today. And Heidi wants to get back and do whatever today. I don't know what you want to clean do. the camper out now. I'm yeah, now we gotta clean the camper up. out. It is pretty messy. We're probably <laughs> gonna have to uh, take the linens in and stuff like that, and we'll probably at this point cover up the the camper. But well, this uh, would be a good day to do it. Well, I may not do it today. We got a couple of decent days still. We'll see how that works out. But in the meantime, uh, we'll go ahead and pack up and make the drive home.
guys, so we're back at the house and we're both soaking wet. I'm wet. Are you wet? Yeah, Heidi says she's wet too. Pants are soaking wet. <laughs> yeah, her pants are wet. Uh, my chest is wet. My knees are wet. And that's because when we got back, it's such a nice day and we uh, talked it over and we're not going to go camping anymore for the rest of the season. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. So sad, but oh well. So we're going to uh, go ahead and put the camper away for the winter, the real winter, even though it's December 12th today? 13th. 13th. And it's above 60 degrees and it's cloudy and it's warm out. I'm sweating up a storm right now from uh, doing this on the camper. Exactly 60. Oh, 60. 60 degrees. Uh, we went ahead and scrubbed down the awning and scrubbed down the entire camper starting with the roof. That's why the antenna's up and it's all scrubbity dubbed and we're just letting it all dry really well and then we're going to cover it with the cover. I'm sure that the cover, uh, since it's breathable, can handle some moisture underneath of it, but uh, we figured we'd leave this out as long as we can. And as long as there's no rain in the forecast, we'll do that. Heidi's got a wacky noodle, a pool noodle, and we're going to cut it up and cover up that little piece there, uh, or I could just take it off. It's not a big deal. Yeah, sharp edges everywhere. And then our flag holder that we installed. One of the reasons we did this is because on the way home, which I might have caught on camera, the uh, <laughs> there was a car that was tailgating me, and it tailgated me for a really long time. So when we came up to a couple of uh, tractor uh, mud tracks where the guy had pulled out onto the road from the field and there was a lot of mud, I thought, thought he was smart by running through them. So it ran all over the camper. Yeah, I thought I was going to go ahead and run through it all. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and uh, spread it all over this guy's windshield since he decided to be so close. Uh, the problem is, is all it did was splatter the camper more than anything else in the truck, too. So uh, we thought, well, we'll go ahead and get the hose back out since I already put the hose away for the winter. Um, and uh, hopes off the uh, entire camper and then it turned into scrubbing and then we decided to clean the roof which it needed I'm glad that we did it but that's it we're uh, we're gonna be done for camping reasons uh, for the rest of the season but we'll still be doing other videos actually we'll probably be doing more videos possibly because I'm not out camping or working on the uh, camper so and it's slow season for me so look forward to that maybe I'll get Heidi to do some on her own <laughs> Probably not. Okay, guys. Well, that's it, and uh, hope to see you out there. Bye.